guys, it's your girl Stephanie. Steph delivers you. No. All right. I door dashed yesterday, and I was so surprised to see the restaurants that were packed. I guess not really surprised because a lot of families, you know, have come together, and a lot of kids out of college come home for for Christmas, and then they just splurge out on money. They just eat out, and they want to order in, and it's a beautiful time to DoorDash. So if you're not out there DoorDashing this week and next week, think again. Because this is, this is pretty good. I usually don't DoorDash, you know, noon to 5. I'm usually DoorDashing like 5 to 8. So um, during this holiday, um, Christmas season, it's off the hook. Yesterday I was able to make $130 and I dashed from one thirty to seven thirty ish 740 ish it was non-stop I could have kept going I could have made $200 easily um, over the next what three hours or so but I chose to go home could have done it come join the ride with me let's go first up Koja Kitchen just waiting on my order be just a few more minutes well, that drop off was successful just dropped it off. What do you know? Here comes another order. See you guys there. Well, looks like my next delivery is only five minutes away from my first delivery. So that's cool. I like it when it happens like that. Bangkok Cafe Thai Restaurant. Let's Man, do it. I love it when you can go into a restaurant. They can hand you a bag of food and the napkins and the silverware and all the... You know, the mayonnaise, the mustard, the ketchup, the soy sauce, and all the little goodies that go with the meal are already in the bag. That's what I'm talking about. I always talk about that in my videos. You have to make sure that that they, uh, they put those things in the bag because it's not automatic. It's your job to check too. So, all right. This delivery to the customer's house is five minutes away. This is nice. I, I could do this all day if the deliveries and the pickups are this close together. My goodness. All right, y'all. See you on the other side of the Just next pickup. My third order. It was super easy. In and out. On my way to the customer's house about five minutes away. Boo, y'all. I don't know, but why do folks think you already got the magic code to their gate to enter into their apartments or their housing? Their gated housing area. You ain't got no crystal ball. So you gotta wait for somebody to, to come by, open the gate for you, or you gotta contact the customer and they don't answer the dang phone because they forgot, oh, they ordered DoorDash. But I ain't complaining, I'm just making it. Your destination is on the left. It took me about 20 minutes, I'm exaggerating, to find the guy's apartment. See, I'm out of breath, right? Running up and down stairs. Uh huh. I know y'all do that too. And so I try to let the customer know. Hey, can you put the gate code on the app? Can you uh, specify, you know, like five flights of stairs? Which floor exactly are you on? You know? Don't be afraid to let the customer know. These are helpful tips to us so they want their food faster. All right? So, I just got another delivery update. I got to go. Check it out. Man, it was like 32 degrees last week. Now, this is pre-spring weather we got. Gotta love California. Well, guys, that dash ended. I did not adjust my time to see if they would extend my dash because I'm only doing 30-minute increments right now. So I am now sitting at my hot spot. It took me about seven, eight minutes to get here. And um, I clicked dash now about five, six times, and nothing came available till right now. That's my bell. So... 10 12 minutes I could have already been on delivery had I extended my dash if it was available so now I have another dash going on delivery or pickup number watch roll see you on the other side I got a gold nugget I want you to put this one in your pocket and keep it there and that golden nugget is this if you got a delivery you know it's an apartment complex because they're saying apartment number, blah, blah, blah. The thing that I do is I go to Google, I type in the address, 
or I speak into the microphone because I want to know the name of the apartments. I don't want to just know the address. Uh-uh. Give me the name. I can see the name more than I can see the address usually. Just a little tip that I share with you. You know you like it. You know you love it actually. So, on my way. What, fourth delivery? I think so. All right, let's keep it moving. So what do you know? I went right to the apartment. No worries, I just think that was luck. Anyway, got back in my car, what do you know? Another delivery, here I go, Jim Boy's Tacos. Mm -mm -mm. Is it Taco Tuesday? No, it's Taco Wednesday. Ain't happening. I'm about to roll up in here. The place is empty. What the heck is going on? Don't nobody want tacos. Let me go on and pick up this order. Jim Boy quick. drop off, no problem, easy peasy. Uh, lemon squeezy. It's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. Easy drop off. As soon as I got back in the car, bam! Another delivery. It just does not stop, and I love it. All right, next delivery about eight minutes out. Dickie's Barbecue. Mmm. Let me get some of that brisket, y'all. All right. See you on the other side. All righty. Dickie's Barbecue. Dare me to ask him for a sample? Mmm, I dare myself. Hold on. You want this beef brisket now? This is Chuck packing up my order. Got me a sample of brisket. Mm mm mm. I gotta come here more often. This is my first time at Dickie's Barbecue. It's pretty awesome. You got cups. Got barbecue cups to get their barbecue sauce. sauce. I gotta pay you, huh? Do I gotta pay you? It's already paid no. for. No. I love it. No. All right. Cool. Thank you, Chuck. Appreciate your service. All right. There's a few benefits to doing this job, and one of them benefits is free ice cream at Dickie's Barbecue. Thank you very much. Mm -mm -mm. Homemade. I ain't playing. Let me go deliver this guy's food. Ah, it just keeps getting better and better. That was easy drop off at the Chef Ray. All right, y'all. That delivery is done. Let's see what I got. What's guys, next? It's stretch time. Stretch mode and wait time. Since I didn't pre schedule this day, that's what I got to do is wait. So that dash ended, and uh, I'm just hanging out in one of the hot spots. Get up, walk around, wait till it lights up red because I can't schedule anything else. It is about 3 30 right now, so I'm just on hold. It's all good though. So I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I surely enjoy um, making them for you. Um, please feel free to leave me any kind of comments, any questions that you may have. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, please. And there's a couple links in the description box. Um, use my link for daily pay. You want to get paid on a daily basis or every couple days um, sign up through my link if you don't mind I appreciate that and also DoorDash doesn't have any promotions right now but please sign up through my link below um, if you're ready to start hitting the streets so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm back on the road My dash is scheduled for 4.30, but those of you who don't know, you can start dashing 15 minutes early if you're scheduled for a dash. So let me get on that. See you guys on the other side. All right, y'all. So sun's going to go down. It's going to get a little dark out here in about an hour or so. I'll do my best. See if I can put on some light. Throw my flashlight on or something so we can finish up this here dash. A day in the life of a dasher. Just got a delivery update and there was tons of traffic up ahead. It's right next to the mall, P.F. Chang. So, given that there is like heck of traffic, 
I'm going to go my own route. I'm going to swoop in from the backside. So just know, just because um, DoorDash is giving you directions, if you know another route, if you know an alternate route, feel free to take it. Do your own thing. More than one way to skin a cat. More than one ways to get to a location. Holla, what do you know? What would it took me about 20 minutes? I got here in about eight. Holla back. I like the fact that PF Chang's has an area right next to their back door that I can park at. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going in. And it's getting dark out here. It's getting dark out here. Hold up, don't nobody do nothing. Headed on the Chevys. All the back. It's rock cool sushi. That's how they do it here. Mm-hmm. That's for me. Right on. Y'all doing all right? Y'all doing all right. Right on. All the fixings. This is the bomb place to be. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right? Alright guys, so I just did my Chevy's um, drop-off and my Raku Sushi drop-off. It's about 6.45. I think I'm going to cut this short till 8 o'clock. See what I can come up with. Alright y'all, see you on the other side. Man, they were super swamped. I must have waited in there for about 25 minutes. For real. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But still, you got to keep it moving. Well, guys, that's it. I just want to thank you all for joining me on this DoorDash journey. A day in the life of a DoorDasher. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click those links below in the description box. I'm going to go home and put these dogs in a foot bath. Ah, it's gonna be so awesome till next time y'all be safe out there god loves you and god bless